Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock. Do monsters exist? I thought that this would be kind of like the shonen character, main, main character, like inner demons, right? Such as like in Bleach, you have like Ichigo's inner hollow. You have like um, Naruto, like the Nine Tails. You know, you have that kind of element in shonen shows like this. Not to say that sports isn't a shonen. There's a lot of overlap, but no, apparently this is like specific to that meeting length haircut guy. There's too many names in the beginning of an anime season. I'll, I'll get them sorted out later or on. But apparently monsters don't exist for everybody, which is kind of a disappointment because I wanted that kind of, you know, super magical sports elements in this kind of sh series like Kuroko no Basket for example it just goes so ridiculous right I want like Prince of Tennis too I wanted more ridiculous sports series if they're gonna double down but uh, it might not be the case here um had another setup of oh the where group we're in is Team Z I'm like Team Z that sounds pretty sick no actually we're at the bottom of the rank in all of blue log we are dead last why is Mr. Ego is giving us so much screen time then, but <laughs> for teams that I thought he'd be talking about the team A guys, but I, I, we are the main focus right now. So I guess we're going to slowly rank up to the top. I guess it's more fun if we start at the bottom and kind of keep throwing everybody as we go up. How are we going to do that? Not really sure. Apparently we will actually still play soccer in a format of like, what is it like 11 versus 11, even though everyone is a striker. And I'm like, how the fuck is that going to happen? You want a striker to play goalkeeper too? Well, and then the logic is, Back in the day of OG monkey soccer, uh, everybody was just a striker because the whole point is to score goals. Therefore, it's okay if we're a, just the entire team of soccer. And I'm like, a, a team of strikers. And I'm like, does that make sense? They're basically just telling us to return to monkey, but I, I, I'll just go along with it. Why am I even arguing? This is such a ridiculous premise anyways. And then we get a new character that seems to be like super, super important. He's like... What is it? Like the 11 heroes of Japan? No, 11 heroes of the world, I think? He shits on Japan. He says that Japan is just trash in terms of soccer. But Blue Lock interests him. He sees the girl giving the speech with a lot. The girl and the Mr. Ego seem to be like the main guys that are like spearheading this new generation of soccer for Japan for that to actually rank uh, number one in the world. He comes to Blue Lock to sh like scout us, maybe just watch us. I doubt that he'll actually join since he's like such a top dog already, but. I don't know, but things are getting set up more and more. I'm excited to see what kind of big arc we're going to go into. Hopefully with this episode, we go into it. I don't know. Let's start the episode though. All right, they're picking positions. Of course he does. Who's Imagine being the goalkeeper here, man. Imagine everybody is already a striker and you have to be forced to play goalkeeper. If, like, Not shitting on a goalkeeper, but like it's so fundamentally different. I mean, each other position other than the striker is already different from itself. But to play goalkeeper as a forward, like what? Yeah, can't. Okay, this guy is gonna play goalkeeper. He doesn't look like compared to other characters, he looks the most bland. So I guess maybe he won't make the cut. But it'd be interesting if the goalkeeper actually scores too. Soccer zero. Remember, return to monkey when everybody was just a striker. The whole point of soccer is just to score. That makes sense, right? All right. Let's see how good Team X is. No, just take it to the front and score by yourself. <laughs> Your own teammates are gonna try to steal the ball. Raichi wants to rank up! Just score! Fuck everyone else! You know, this mentality, it's so twisted, but that's the entire point of Blue Lock. It's not Team Z versus Team X. It's like a free-for-all for everybody here, right? Yeah, watch the goalkeeper come out too. No, go- If the goalkeeper comes out too- Dude, that's, that's gonna be so funny. Go in there. Yeah, get in there, steal them all. Oh, what was that? Wait, what, what? Who is this? This guy is probably super special, huh? He'll kill you, he'll relax, it's just soccer. BL ranking, 1, 250. Okay. Wow, oh, god damn. That's kind of fancy. Yeah, I really want the goalkeeper to come out, though. That'd be the funniest thing. This guy is just the solo, just one manning at the... How did he get the ball out from that in... in... Uh, he's not a goalkeeper, okay? I mean, he's a forward, but it's kind of crazy how he broke through from that big pack. Got through, like, three people. The ball isn't my friend. It's just a serve. That's one way of putting it, sure. Okay. Hey, that's pretty melodramatic. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though, how his entire thing is, I am the king. 
<laughs> the ball is merely a tool to make myself look good. Uh, well, is he really gonna play along? No, Temple Monk's mine. Fuck the positions. Nah. Again, that's the this is the crab in a bucket mindset, right? Everybody wants you know the best for themselves. So if other people get ahead, they'll try to bring each other down. That is like the antithesis of a the teamwork. Team X isn't having a meltdown though. They're actually playing as a team. Look at this. Yeah, it's because they have a goal lead, I guess. This is a lot of people, but. Yeah, all right, let's let's see it. Let's see Mr. King on the field. Ooh, passes it backwards. Where? And as he passes, he's just gonna get through. If you forget about it. Yeah, oh. They're actually playing as a team, though. This is not good. Yeah, this is. We don't have like an ace player like King Baro. <laughs> Everybody's just fucking each other over. It's over. It's, it's, it's over. We need a player like him, too, then. We need a player like him to form around, but who do we have that can play like that? You? Can you do it? I mean, our guy is pretty mediocre, you know? He's self he's self-proclaimed mediocre. Build around this one. Have a main striker. Build a team around the main striker. I guess so. Are you gonna be that one then? God, it's already 3 0. 4 0. <laughs> Bro. This is and we're just monologuing the entire time. <laughs> He's got four goals already. <laughs> Yo, somebody step up. Yeah? Sure. I mean, look, once their eyes look like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The crazy spirals. Once their eyes turn like that, it's usually like come back down or they're like on. Watch it as a long. You saw it to score though. Really? Watch it is not selfish like that. I thought he would be like, ha, it's like I told you I'd pass, but I didn't. I'm gonna get the goal for myself. We're actually having some teamwork between the two. Or at least it seems like it. Let's see if he fakes us out. And maybe through this one goal, we can carry the momentum forward. I don't know. To win the next match. Oh, dude. When their eyes flare up like that, it looks so sick. Score! Don't, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Come on. It's open. What's well, Mr. King come out of nowhere? Oh, who's that? Is it the king? Mbaro's already back? Yo, this dude. I... We gotta respect him. He's... He is the one that's been formed around. Right? You would beat him in a one-on-one. -on -one. No pass. No. Fuck the pass. No. If you're the striker, you score right now by yourself. No. The entire point of blue lock is to avoid that situation we saw in episode one. Beat him in a one-on-one. -on -one. Can you? Wait, what is he saying? Huh? Wait, 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 what? Wait, 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 what? Who? Oh. This animation's not. He passed. He actually passed. I thought that we weren't supposed to. He passed, though. If this gets a goal. Hold up, we're contradicting. The whole philosophy of blue lock though. He scores sick. In the scenario in episode one where we passed, it didn't work. But right now, in a project where we're supposed to change our mindset to not pass, he passed and we scored. Which is great, but the, I thought Huh? Oh, Mr. King. Did we get nervous there, though? Did we get nervous? Or was that true talent where it, he, he realized passing would be the only way to score? But wouldn't a striker, Japan's best striker, figure out a way to score no matter what in that situation by himself? What? I... This is... What are we doing? This is going against the whole thing that we're trying to build up to is... And he gets a goal and he's like, fucking saying, yeah, nice pass, dude, good job, but... Team is formed around that striker. Someone has to step up here, but who's gonna step up? <laughs> he was losing the entire time. Hey, at least he's calling us diamonds in the rough, but... It's your turn, go. 
Eight. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a fucking landslide. Blachida's happy about it. Everybody else is kind of scary, but Blachida is... Blachida's very interesting. Uh, okay, more historic lessons? Hmm? Baseball? Gotcha. Everybody has their own specific role, and they all specialize in it. Soccer is a more generalist. You gotta play a lot of different roles at the same time. Right? So it's not about fitting a specific role, but that everybody... Huh? You all need individual skills? Midfield and fullback. But we have no striker that we can be proud of. But even that Japanese soccer right now is bad. <laughs> you gotta rewire your brain. Destroy the enemy team structure. Striker and destroyer, okay? We're destroyers now. Notion of rules. Meaning goalkeeper. Get out from the goal. Yo, I really want the goalkeeper to come out and score. That would be crazy though, huh? I I don't know. We'll find out though. But everybody needs his personal skills. And Spachira is still naked. <laughs> I really like Mr. Ego whenever he talks. It's always so like mind boggling. Definitely different perspective. Who's gonna be that weapon? Who's gonna stand out to be the number one? And that's another episode of Blue Lock. We are still just complete ass. Honestly, that was our team. We're not even a team. And even amongst individual talents, everybody is pretty fucking disappointing. Other than Bachira and the guy that scored. The guy that kind of has like the Ichigo, like, like uh, orange hair, right? So I guess maybe we'll form a main trio around them and everybody else plays around them. But we still don't have that one, right? To form from 0 to 1 so then everybody else forms around that A striker. Who's it gonna be? Isagi? I don't know. Because the best moments during our... You know, when Isagi was popping off was when he passed. And that's the most... Like, like the confusing thing. Because that was the exact situation we were at in the first episode, right? He, de he decided to pass to his teammate and his teammate missed. And he was like, oh shit, this sucks. What if I took the goal instead? Would things have changed, right? That was like the main focus. And then we went to blue lock and we got told, hey, you should only fight for yourself. You should have figured out a way to score. Because if you're a true striker, you would have figured out a way. There we passed, but this time we were able to score because our teammate was a little bit better. But that goes against the whole philosophy of Blue Lock, and I'm like, huh? And King told us we don't have talent as a striker. He got scared there, but did he really get scared? That's what I don't know. Was he truly scared there? Or was that full confidence in his teammate that he would score? Therefore, he does have a talent, maybe not as a striker, but I, I don't know. I don't know. That moment with King Barrow when he told us, like, you got scared there, that's... Uh, did he really get scared? I don't know. Isaki's like ability to also see the whole field vision kind of remind me of Aoachi when Aoi would turn on his like crow vision and he would see everything. Does he have a different talent there? It seems like he seems to have a great field of vision at that one specific moment when the animation went well crazy and we kind of like assessed everybody and then we decided to pass. So I don't know. I thought we we're gonna try to be a striker, but at this rate, Isaki might be a fullback. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. If you stick around the song, and if you enjoyed my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to push up my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.